welcome back to my beauty favourites of 2015. Um, if you didn't see before, Monday's video was my lifestyle favourites 2015. I will link that video down below so you can go give that a watch. And like I just said, this is my beauty favourites. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Bright lipsticks have been something that I've really got into this year. Um, my confidence has kind of boosted a little bit. I've always been kind of nervous about bright lipsticks, but I have been rocking them this year. And two of my favourites is the one that I've got on, which is Max Ruby Woo, and also one of my most recent ones, which is my NARS lipstick in Mascate, I think it's called, and it's like a really dark purpley red, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. Um, I'm not amazing at putting them on but I love wearing them and I just think um, a nice subtle eye with a bright lip is just perfect and I'm obsessed with them now. <laughs> Again, this is something that I've kind of been a bit more nervous about, um, but I've really got into like bronzers this year. You've seen both of these. This is the um, Bronze Glow from Collections and the Bare Minerals. I'm, I haven't really gone out and bought any others purely for the reason that I've always been quite nervous about them, but I've really got into wearing them. This is my favourite one. Uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you will know uh, one side is matte, one side is sparkly, so perfect for everyday or days out. And I've just been topping it off, instead of wearing like a blush, I've been wearing the mosaics. It's got the pink in it as well, so it's still kind of blushy, but you get the bronze glow on your cheeks, and I've really been enjoying that this year, putting a bit more colour into my face, <laughs> and really getting the hang of it, and I think I'm getting there, I think eyeshadows. I've really wanted this year to get back into using eyeshadows. Again, it's something that I've been quite scared about using. I've always been like foundation, your subtle pink blush, your nude lip and just a bit of mascara kind of girl. Um, but this year, as you can tell, I've kind of come out of my comfort zone. And so yeah, eyeshadows have definitely been something that I've tried to get more into. My favourite palettes are the um, Urban Decay Naked Basic Palettes. I don't have any of the actual Naked Palettes. Everyone keeps telling me I should get um, the third one, but maybe one day. My newest edition is the Narcissist Palette, which I was lucky enough to get for Christmas. And also, Kiko eyeshadows have been amazing. A lot of my eyeshadows are gold. I've obviously been really feeling the golds <laughs> this year. Uh, so yeah, I've got that really gold, like a more of a rose goldy gold, and like, a bronzy gold, <laughs> loving the golds. Uh, golds and browns are definitely my sort of thing, more subtle, but you can really build them and I've been loving using them this year. My Zoeva brushes have been my babies this year. I love them, they are disgustingly dirty. I really have to clean them, but I do use them every day, so that's why they're dirty. But I love these brushes, they go everywhere with me. I Like I've said, I use them every day and I haven't used any other brush types since I've had these. Even my Real Techniques ones, and I was obsessed with those in 2014, as you'll know if you watched my favourites from last year, um, but I've definitely moved on to my Zoeva brushes. And the Benefits Roller Lash Mascara. This is like a tiny little travel size one, because it was on offer, um, and why not, because it fits in your bag. The Benefit Roller Lash has definitely been my go-to mascara this year. I love the effect it has on my lashes. It really, really works. It really curls your lashes, really makes them look long and nice and black, and separates them, and I'm just obsessed, and I love this mascara. Yeah, I highly recommend Benefit Mascaras. They always do really good mascaras. I was obsessed with their um, last one, but the name of it's kind of gone out of my mind right now. What was it called? Roller Lash and... I can't remember. You're probably all screaming at me. Comment down below if you can remember what it's called, because I cannot remember what it's called. <laughs> They're my top five beauty products for 2015. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite beauty products of this year have been. I would love to know. And also, I can try some of them out in 2016 and see if they become my favourites for next year. <laughs> thank you if you are a new subscriber in 2015, and if you've commented, and if you've liked all my videos, thank you so much, you've really made my year a better one, and let's hope 2016 brings on more exciting things. Bye!